Recently, the domestic automobile industry has been very lively. Two press conferences have once again plunged Xiaomi into the whirlpool of public opinion. On April the 8th, at the ZGL6 Super Smart Car Launch Conference, mislabeling of Xiaomi SE7 product parameters appeared. Late that night, Xiaomi's spokesperson posted three long posts on its official Weibo account, condemning GG Auto's harassment and smear campaign. It is claimed that if GG Company does not make a formal and public apology, it will use legal weapons to protect its rights and interests. In the early morning of April the 9th, GG Company officially apologized on its official Weibo. This matter has triggered heated discussions on the internet and continues to heat up. Subsequently, a large number of insults. Slanders and attacks appeared in Jaija's official live broadcast room and the live broadcast rooms of dealer stores. This made Gigi Auto extremely annoyed and distressed. Netizens joked, I didn't eat the fish, but it made me smell fishy. One wave has not subsided, and another wave has arisen. The grudge between Gigi and Xiaomi is not over yet. Another big drama is happening again. On April the 11th, at Huai's Hongming Eco Spring Communication Conference, Yu Cheng Dong, Huai's managing director, CEO of Consumer BG, and chairman of Hua Smart Car Solutions Boo, joked, I don't understand why some cars still use mobile phone holders. Then I suddenly realized that it was because their car navigation was not easy to use and they needed to use their mobile phones to navigate. As soon as this was said, Mi Fan disagreed. They were angry, a Fortune 500 company, far ahead actually made a fuss about a friend's mobile phone holder. This pattern is not the least bit inferior. Immediately, pollen came on stage, it's just an assembly plant. If you look at the entire car, apart from accessories, what else is self-developed? Just like this, you and I were going back and forth, Mi Fen and Hua Fen kept pinching each other, and in the end they forgot why they were fighting each other. A long time ago, Hua made mobile phones, and Xiaomi also made mobile phones. Pollen and Myfin didn't like each other, and they started a war of words whenever they disagreed, attracting countless people to watch. In fact, whether it is Gigi, Hua or Xiaomi, they are all the pride of domestically produced cars. Domestic automobiles have just started, and there is still a long way to go in the future. If you look at the global car sales rankings, Toyota dominates the list all year round. It is really far ahead, domestic car brands and our electric cars have just started to make progress. At this time, we really shouldn't be at odds with each other. The domestic market is big enough. If we all join hands and take down Japanese, American, and Korean cars first, everyone will be able to live a prosperous life. Besides, there are overseas markets with unlimited potential. The penetration rate of electric vehicles in many countries is less than one-tenth of China's. You see, the big brother, BYD, just defeated Honda at the Thailand Auto Show. At present, our electric vehicle technology is the best in the world. If we unite and communicate with the outside world, good days are ahead. Ten years from now, we hope that among the top 10 global automobile companies, the top five will all be domestic brands. On April the 8th, the ZGL6 pre-sale press conference was held in Shanghai. CEO Leo Tao said this at the press conference. I'm afraid what he didn't expect was that the traffic really came. Gigi has really become a hot search, but it does not rely on good products, but on continuous apologies. It originally wanted to enhance its own brand image by comparing it with Xiaomi Auto, but due to the incorrect labeling of key parameters, Gigi Auto fell into a whirlpool of public opinion. Many netizens believe that Gigi Auto was disgraceful. In contrast, the new masterpiece GG L6 quickly received more than 10.000 orders in just 23 hours after its pre-sale began. Because of this, GG was ridiculed as an expert in touching porcelain marketing. However, as far as Tomomi himself is concerned, he still looks injured. On April the 11th, GG issued a report letter through Weibo saying that he had been subjected to organized online violence and traffic bullying since April the 9th which directly affected the company's normal business activities and business reputation, and reported it to the relevant national authorities in real name.
Gigi issued a report letter demanding severe punishment for cyber violence. Gigi Auto issued a report letter stating that it had been subjected to organized online violence and traffic bullying since April the 9th which directly affected the company's normal business activities and business reputation, and it was reported in real name. We implore the relevant national competent authorities to follow the instructions of the Central Cyberspace Administration of China's 2024 Qingming series of special rectification activities and focus on rectifying slanders against companies and entrepreneurs without factual basis, manipulation of water army, accounts to post attacks on companies, fabrication of false information about companies, and quotes out of context. Entrepreneurs' comments and other corporate-related infringements and chaos will be severely punished for organized cyber violence, GG Auto said. Regarding the original intention of sending this report letter, Feng Ku Finance reporter contacted the public relations person of GG Automobile, but as of the time of publication, no reply was received from the other party. The incident originated from a press conference on April the 8th. CEO Leo Tao directly targeted Xiaomi SU7 as the core competitor of GGL6. However, what is self-defeating is that Leo Tao mislabeled Xiaomi car parameters in the introduction, saying that Xiaomi car motors use front IGBT and rear silicon carbide module electric drives while ZGL6 uses front and rear dual silicon carbide electric drives. Just over an hour after the press conference ended, Leo Tao posted on Weibo that there was an information error in the press conference due to incorrect product information research results Xiaomi Su7 is the same as ZGL6. Both the front and rear motors use six silicon carbide modules Xiaomi Su7. He is indeed a very respected competitive teammate of the ZG brand. I would like to sincerely apologize to Xiaomi Motors and its users, but Xiaomi Auto didn't buy it. From the evening of April the 8th to the early morning of April the 9th, a Xiaomi spokesperson pushed three Weibo posts in succession, urging Gigi Auto to apologize, saying that it did not recognize Leo Tao's personal apology. Or due to pressure, Gigi Automobile and Leo Tao publicly apologized three times. It is worth mentioning that the three-round public relations battle between Gigi Auto and Xiaomi has also put Gigi Auto on the hot search again, and again Gigi's behavior also made some riders express dissatisfaction some people in the automobile industry believe that it is disgraceful for Gigi to use domestic models as benchmarks, sold 10,000 cars in 23 hours in the whirlpool. Behind this remote debate, Selling cars is the key point. As competition in the new energy vehicle market becomes increasingly fierce, in addition to dizzying price wars, driving traffic has become the top priority for car companies. As Leo Tao said, we also want traffic, but we also want to make good products. It is not difficult to see that Gigi really wants to sell its cars well with the help of traffic. According to Gigi Auto's public statement, the Gigi L6, is the culmination of 10 years of cutting-edge technologies from SAIC. The entire series comes standard with a skink digital chassis, a smart four-wheel steering system, ultra-long-range high-precision LiDAR, Qualcomm Snapdragon 8295 chip, and many other features. The remaining top-notch configurations include the first-generation light-year solid-state battery, Quasi 900V Super Performance Platform, Unmat City NOAA, and future smart cabin and other top technologies. Whether a car is a good car depends on how it is sold. Especially the entry of Xiaomi Motors has made car companies realize the importance of marketing and GG Automobile may want to take advantage of it. It is a good marketing strategy to benchmark the configuration and technology with Xiaomi SU7 and highlight its product strength. However, GG Auto's unprofessional behavior of mislabeling the parameters of Xiaomi cars made consumers question its professionalism, triggering consumer disgust and resistance. Some car enthusiasts also questioned that the light-year solid-state battery claimed by GG Auto may be exaggerated. Although it is at the center of public opinion, the sales volume of GG L6 is obvious to all. The pre-sale price of the GG L6 standard version is no more than 230,000 yuan, and the light-tier solid-state battery super performance version is no more than 330,000 yuan. In just 23 hours after the pre-sale of the GG L6 started, 
It quickly received more than 10,000 orders. Judging from the sales data, Gigi has indeed achieved the expected black and red effect, trying to take risks under market pressure. However, the seemingly good sales volume of Gigi L6 cannot alleviate the huge pressure on Gigi Auto. Looking back at the past, Gigi Auto's sales were bleak, with monthly sales basically hovering at 1 or 2,000 units for a long time. It was not until 2023 that the monthly sales of over 10,000 were achieved thanks to the popularity of Gigi LS6. Regrettably, Gigi Auto, whose sales had improved before, has now begun to decline again. Data released by SAIC Group shows that in February 2024, Gigi Auto's monthly retail sales returned to 2,000 units. Leo Tao revealed in a previous interview that Gigi Auto's target sales volume in 2024 is 120,000 130,000 units. According to this speculation, in order to achieve the annual target, Gigi Automobile needs to achieve an average monthly sales volume of more than 10,000 units. However, According to the latest vehicle sales data released by SAIC Group for March 2024, as of March 31, GG Automobile's cumulative sales from January to March were 10,001 units. It can be seen that achieving the annual target of GG Automobile is quite challenging. Behind the poor sales is that the professionalism of GG Auto does not seem to be widely recognized by the public, because Leo Tao's apology seems to be frequent. In January of this year, a large number of GG Auto owners reported that they had encountered vehicle malfunctions, so Leo Tao explained the reason on Weibo and said, Deeply sorry, and last year, the backend server of the app was down in October, and Leo Tao said, Extremely sorry. These problems not only affect the brand reputation of GG Auto, but also make consumers feel distrustful of it. As a high-end pure electric brand, Jointly created by SAIC, Zhangjiang High Tech and Alibaba, GG Auto was born with a gold spoon in its mouth. However, it has experienced rapid growth in sales of smart car companies such as Hua and the growth of new car manufacturers such as Xiaomi Motors. With a good start, GG Auto has not made any big noise in the competition of new energy vehicles in the past. However, the reality is that new energy vehicle companies are currently facing a life and death elimination competition. Lu Jiamin, chief analyst of the automotive industry at Cinda Securities, believes that the door for new forces to build cars will gradually close and enter a situation of free for all. Although it is not decent enough and even risked injuring itself, if it can catch the overwhelming traffic of Xiaomi Auto, it is certainly a good plan for Gigi Auto. After all, there isn't much time left for Chai's car. Last year, Zhang Yong, co-founder of Najao Automobile, publicly stated, We Chinese car companies have made great progress. There are still a few in the top 15 global sales, but we are not among the top 10 at all. This is still there is a long, long way to go, but if you look inside us, a bunch of kindergarten children are suffocating each other inside, and adults are still watching from the outside. It's okay if you're good. You can say you're good, but you can't. It's so tasteless that you have to step on others when you say you're nice.